Today I'm going to show you how I shot this McLaren. Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mo and I'm a car photographer from Bahrain. If it's your first time around this awesome channel, and you'd like to learn all about car photography and Photoshop, then go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff that I create every week. Long story short, I was one day at work and found out that there were like few McLarens parked downstairs. I was like, whoa. So I reached out to my camera, went downstairs. I didn't have the tripod, but I did have a CPL filter attached to the lens because I have it there 99% of the time. And I grabbed two shots, two different exposures, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to make these two RAW files available for you guys to download, play around with, and follow along the tutorial. All right, now that we are in Lightroom, let me walk you through this. This is the first shot that I took, and I've exposed it right for the side only. Overall, the image is really underexposed, but I just really wanted to get the highlights on the side of the car, just right. And I've used the CPL filter to cut down reflections on that area. And by the way, thank you, Jonathan, for this tip. Control I to show the information overlaid on the image in Lightroom is really helpful. All right, so the second shot was kind of properly exposed for the background. I've also rotated the filter to um, get more of the highlights on the wheels, and also to cut down reflections on this area of the car. Now you can see that the interior is now more visible than the previous shot. All right, enough of Lightroom, let's jump into Photoshop. All right, now that we are in Photoshop, and because I didn't have a tripod, uh, the first thing I did is I've actually selected the two layers, went down to Edit, and Auto Align Layer. And I've used the default one down here. And that just did a great job by aligning the layers. And of course, the power of masks. I've added a mask on top of the other layer, or the second layer, and I've just masked in the areas that I really wanted to show. So areas like here, the highlights on the wheel, and this area. I've also included some elements of the background. Not everything, but just some. All right, moving onwards, I added a gray dodge and burn layer, set it to overlay, and I dodged and burned around the car. If I zoom in, you would see that I've just um, dodged and burned around these areas. All right, so the next step was fairly simple. I created a stamp visible layer in which I merged all the layers into one, and I added a smart filter, which is the camera raw. And what I basically did with the camera raw filter, I just increased the white up to 23%, and that basically just emphasizes the whites in the image. And I just wanted to show these highlights on the car. I've also increased the clarity and the vibrance. And that's it for the camera raw filter. All right, next I added a curve to just like add a vignette, and I added a mask to mask out the car. This is the before and this is the after. And I just wanted the car to be the center of attention and that's why I added a vignette. I then added a channel mixer to desaturate the elements around the car. Like I always do, I added a selective color. I just wanted to adjust the yellows in this image, like so. All right, moving onwards, I added a hue and saturation layer to increase the saturation of the yellows within the image. So this is the before and this is the after. All right, that's it in Photoshop. Let me show you what I've done in Lightroom. All right, so here are the final touches in Lightroom. I felt like the photo was uh, just a little bit underexposed. So I increased the exposure just a tad and I left it the blacks because I thought it was just crushed too much. And I've added more clarity to the image. And to wrap it up, I added a graduated filter to darken this area. Just a tad, nothing too much. And of course, I added a bit of sharpening. And that's it. All right, YouTube, so the moral of the story always carry your camera with you. You never know when you're going to stumble upon a McLaren and shoot it. 
Well, I hope that was helpful. If you do have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.